Hello, human-shaped friends. Join me as I paint another omen of a non-human who probably would not consider me to be their friend. Not just because uh, I find most birds don't like me, but also because I made the conscientious choice to paint this bird dead. So, tr trigger warning, I, I am painting a dead bird. That is what this time-lapse video is of. It's me painting a dead seagull. And the omen is an omen of doom uh, because sailors view seagulls traditionally as good omens. Uh, they let you know when you're close to land and food and not about to head into a storm. Seagulls, technically good omens. Dead seagulls, dead seagulls are bad omens. Uh, they spell doom. That people won't sail if there are a lot of dead seagulls around and if you hurt a seagull while you're on a ship that also in theory could doom you so you know fun superstition of the sea all that being said this seagull was a colossal pain to paint <laughs> uh, it just was it was not at any point in time fun but it was the last of my series of nine paintings i started with this painting and i finished with this painting because i just did not want to paint it i just i didn't getting the sand to feel like sand was irritating and i literally do not know how I managed to get it close enough because after a certain point in time I did feel like I had to just call it good and walk away same with the seagull themselves I kept fluctuating between trying to go as realistic as possible and just trying to portray it artistically and I liked neither version <laughs> The final piece is, in my mind, completed, but it doesn't feel like my best work, which is hard. When you, especially when it is something for a show that you have already promised nine pieces to, and also when you have really high standards for yourself, like I do, relentlessly high, honestly too high. I should be kinder to myself. It's hard. Moving on. Uh, I actually like painting birds. Uh, one of my earlier pieces in this series that go watch the video if you so desire to see it uh, was a magpie crow on a roof. I loved doing that, getting those blues and purples and the feathers. But this was literally me trying to paint a bird, convey that it was dead, and make it look as just depressing as possible. Like I didn't want it to be sad and I didn't want it to be like emotionally driven I just kind of wanted it to be depressing and this is the fact and it's not pretty which probably isn't a good mindset for painting but I feel like I was able to convey that it it's not an interesting painting and you look at it and you know exactly what it is which was the point because I was done and at least I got it done and I know I just said a whole bunch of words that basically amount to nothing other than I did a thing and look at the thing I did but I did do this thing and look at the thing I did favorite painting no but I finished it and I added things that I feel like really brought it to life and now it's done <laughs> and I don't have to paint it again anyway it was nice talking to you until next time have a day